welcome to my channel. I know this lighting is horrible, but uh, I have to make it work. I forgot one of my webcams that I usually use um, at home, so I had to purchase a new one. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me, but I had to purchase another one. It's really inexpensive. Um, so the lighting is going to change because I don't have my lights with me either. I have no idea. I think because I'm on holiday, so I think when I go into holiday mode, my mind is just like, let's switch it off. So I'm sorry, um, the lighting is going to change the whole time because I'm using natural sunlight. Um, so you will have to bear with me with this video with this type of um, lighting. Sorry, I just like big hair. I do not believe in, I like when it's like fluffy and big and all over the place. Anyway, um, yes, this is like a pharmacy haul. I have done one, uh, I may I think three months ago, maybe. Uh, this is another pharmacy haul, but also mixed with favorites of March. Or, yeah, I would say my favorites of March, I would say. Um, most beauty bloggers or vloggers would usually do February favorites in March, which makes sense because then the month is finished and then you. But because March is almost over, I felt like, why not just make a favorites, uh, March favorites of 2016? So, yes, so I decided to do that. See, the lighting just changed once again. But whatever, I'm not going to stress about that right now. Um, sorry that you have to deal with this, but uh, yeah. Okay, let's get started. As you know, um, I like to prime my face. You all know this is still one of my favorites. It's the MAC Prep and Prime um, Face For Me Hair Primer, uh, which of course you know if you watch my channel that I use as a moisturizer. I really do love this stuff. It's like my little baby. No, this is not like my baby. It's, this is like the cousin, the distant cousin. Of it. Uh, but I really do enjoy this. Um, Primer uh, just to moisturize my face before app applying my little baby is the instant baby the baby skin instant pore eraser from Maybelline. This is just so if you if you try this, you'll be like, where have you been all my life? So I do believe in this. I still believe in this. I use this every day. Uh, well, when I wear makeup, which is not every day. If you think that I'm always glammed up, you are mistaken. <laughs> the days I don't have to wear makeup. I don't wear makeup and I put on my glasses, so yeah. Um, one of my favorites as well, this is quite inexpensive, it's 84 Rand. It does differ from Pick and Pay or, um, no, I don't think Pick and Pay sells I think it will differ from place to place. I have seen this for 90 odd Rand, where at this time I saw this at for 84 Rand. So there is a difference between the places, so really before you purchase it, actually, Purchase it at Diskim <laughs> because it's just the best. I feel like this is really good. And then, of course, um, still talking about baby skin and the Maybelline product, I am really into the Dr. Seuss baby um, lips from Maybelline. It does give off a color, but it's just so, and it has like a mentholy, like a minty, off tone and it does give off a color which I really like. So it's one of those chapsticks that you not going to use to prep your lips when you're going to wear lipstick because it gives off a color but it's maybe one that you will use you will use on its own because if you're just going to quickly put on mascara, put on blush and then put on this chapstick then you're good to go then you kind of look dolled up already. If you watched my everyday <clears throat> everyday look that you can wear at home or you just want to go out but you don't want to use foundation if you watch that video i also use this little boy why is there with a boy this little guy yet again it's male okay <laughs> use this product in my video moving on to essence uh first i want to talk about the my most favorite mascara is the Essence I Love Extreme Voluminous Crazy Mascara, Crazy Volume Mascara from Essence. This is about 56 Rand or 47? 47. 47 Rand. Yes, which um, 
I purchased another one the other day, which I was just like, I can't live without you. So when I see this one, if the one is like getting, it's like almost empty, then I always purchase another one just because I cannot live without you. So, yes. Um, what I also like still with Essence are the lipsticks. And I think it's gorgeous because it gives so much color and it's really pigmented, which I believe any lipstick should be. I don't want to buy a lipstick, place it on my lips and be like, I have to sit for five minutes and rub, literally rub the color off onto my lips. That will just annoy me. Um, I have in the color number 12, Blush My Lips, which is like a very bright pink color. Oh, gorgeous. I really, really love this color. Then my most favorite color is the number six, Barely. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, barely there. Which is like a nudie brown type of color. Oh, I love this color so much. Um, if if I have nothing on, I think this is the thing I'll pack in. If this is mascara, I'll pack in my handbag if I have absolutely nothing on. Okay, so try the lipsticks. I think the lipsticks are also in between 56. I think it's about 56 rand. I hate scratching my face when it has makeup on, but anyway. Um, I think it's about 56 rand and they're really beautiful. I do have one in red, but um, it's in the drawer, but I don't feel like looking for it now. And then next, the reason why my nails can look like a gelish nail is because of the Essence the Gel Nail Polish. And these are the base coats. This is the base coat. And you get the top coat. I don't know i don't know about you but i don't believe in just applying the color nail polish onto your clean nail because it stains your nail and i feel like it will turn yellow in the end even if you wear base coat even if you go and do it at a salon it still goes yellow yes but the idea it's like not priming my face or priming or prepping my lips for lipstick I have to use a base coat and a top coat to make, to feel that my nails are actually done properly. If I feel like I just put on the color, I feel it's going to come off in a few hours. I'm going to chip it off because it's not right. It's on my clean nail. And oh, so this is like protective to protect the nail. So I think I don't know the price of this. Um, but it's not as expensive as AC, I would say. But their base coat and their top coat together, perfect. So you first apply the base coat, then two coats of your color, whatever nail polish you use, the color, and then after that you put on your top coat, lip gloss. Their triple XL nude lip gloss. Oh, this is really pretty. I don't know why, but I just feel like putting everything on my lips while talking to you. It's just so gorgeous. You will not be sorry. You will comment on this video and you'll be like, Christelle, thank you so much. And I promise you. I promise you. I'm LA Girl. And not, you get the glam, which, is a, which are darker shades than the pinky shade. You get the pinky, which is lighter than the glam. So because I'm darker, I like to use the glam quite often. Especially their um, contour color, their highlighting color, and the second pink blush shade that they have in this palette. I think it's gorgeous. Um, one of those things where you always ask, where have you been all my life? So, yes, if you need to purchase all of this, a highlighter, a contour, um, blush, either go for the pinky of Allegal or the glam. Really nice. The only one that I don't have yet, because it's never there, is the spice. I want it so badly. So when I have it, I will most definitely let you know. These go on to eyeshadow. You were watching my previous everyday makeup tutorial that I spoke about this chocolate Swiss chocolate matte eyeshadow from MAC. Um, all the eyeshadows come in these little pots. This is the only one that I actually have. 
uh, because I don't want to pay so much on makeup sometimes. Sometimes it really breaks my heart, although I'm obsessed with makeup. I feel sometimes I feel bad to actually <laughs> buy a mini eyeshadow like this, although it will last me quite often, oh, quite quite long. But um, this shade, the color chocolate, Swiss chocolate from Mac, I think it's a gorgeous everyday color. I do have it on my eyes right now. It's very natural. I think for any skin tone, this eyeshadow would be a natural look to it. I don't feel like if you you can glam it up, but then you're gonna use other colors on your eyeshadow um, as well in your eyeshadow. Was the stick liquid double cover concealer from Beauty Treats, which can be found at Diskin. Okay, so it has a stick on the one side, which looks like the shape of a lipstick, but it's actually concealer. And then you have on the other side a little kind of like a lip gloss uh, application applicator like that, which you can also use for conceal, especially if you're going to use a cream or a liquid foundation. Then I, I always believe using liquid with liquid and pencil with pencil. Beauty blenders that I have, these can you, you can purchase this at Diskin. The color, um, I'll talk about my brushes soon. The color beauty blenders, which are amazing. Powders, foundations, or translucent powders. I do own the Yardley, um, Powders, the oatmeal treatment pressed powder with tea tree oil for all skin types. You sold me. You got me. Okay. I have it in the color translucent. There you go. In the color translucent. In the color light. I used to use this for my contour and I didn't have any contour palette. I used to use just a darker foundation um, in the color light. And then I wanted a darker contour. Then I purchased um the powder in the color dots which is much darker than my natural skin tone which i think is gorgeous so if you really want to try out an, an inexpensive um powder and you don't want to go l'oreal or revlon try the yardley the yardley is quite nice I, I believe that every single girl or guy should have translucent powder somewhere in their makeup collection because it's a it's a powder you don't want to put on foundation powder on your face every time you want to touch up but you can put translucent because it's see-through it's translucent so it literally just takes out it takes shiny with shininess away and then you're good to go so try the translucent powder i really do enjoy it um and the only reason why i have these darker shades is because i wanted a contour a darker contour brushes but this is still a little i want more um these are most of my brushes that i have the one I want to talk about the most, there are two. It is the Color co Angled Contour Brush. It is the most beautiful blush uh, brush there is and the most soft, no, not most soft, the softest, softest, yeah, softest one for the ball. softest brush that you can get. It's, it's a clean, easily, it's soft, it's nice, it's quality. I like this. So any color, C A L A, yeah, um, I really enjoy their brushes. Also the real techniques brushes. Um I never knew I would be so fond of them, but they are absolutely wonderful. I d again those brushes that I never knew where were you all my life? And yes, the color brushes come in various. You get the bamboo color brushes as well, which look like this. Um, this, this is the foundation brush of them. Then you get, ooh, you get the real techniques, my real techniques brushes, which, oh, they are so beautiful and so dirty, but it's a okay. plan. I was actually planning on keep cleaning my brushes today. Um, yes, you get your powder brush. Oh no, this is your blush brush, but I don't use this as blusher because I feel like it's so big. On my face, you get your setting brush, which I use for my highlighter. You get a stippling blending brush, which is beautiful. You get a face brush, which I use for my contour. You can use it for foundation, for anything. It's for your face. So I just use it for um, contouring. Then you get your blending brushes, your lip brush, and your um, defined crease brush and then another 
shadow brush and a big shadow I use this for blending. Okay, but these, they all look like these. They have the black bottom with the color uh, wand, and then you have your soft, soft hairs. Oh, it's so beautiful. I really do enjoy it. And you're going to think I'm crabba, but I purchased this other one. I had to, I had to. I purchased one two days ago. This one, it is the, um, the powder brush. You're going to think Cristal, but you have a powder brush because I do also own a Kabuki brush, which I bought. I think this was my first owl. My first blending brush or my first Kabuki brush ever, um, which I bought at Clicks for 135 Rand. If you go now, I think it's much more expensive because I bought this probably like two years ago or four years ago. And I think this brush is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the, all the hairs are still intact, everything. It's such a good brush. And the powder brush that I bought from Real Techniques looks like this. So I will use this for my under eye to powder everything in, just powder everything in place. Yes, powder brush. And this is what the powder brush looks like. Let's oh, put it in the mix. I like to clean all of this. I like Roybo's tea. It calms me down. So I use the Nature's Nourishment Roybo's um, Facial Cleansing Wipe. It free, gently cleanses skin and removes makeup for all skin types. I believe these are the wipes to be. I've been using this for, I don't know, for seven years now. Maybe you think I'm crazy, but if something works, it works, right? So these wipes are really, really nice. Wash her brushes. When I started out with makeup, I used to, what I used to take was liquid soap, um, not sunlight, um, liquid soap, like a hand soap. Um, and I would pour that out onto a plate. And then I would take Savlon. Um, it's like a, uh, alcohol cleansing for wounds usually. And I would take that, pour that next to the soap. Then I would take my brush and mix the two together in the middle. So the soap and the savlon, they meet in the middle. In the middle, I would run my brush in the middle, take my bare hand, and then wash it on my hand like this. And then rinse it under water, upside down, because you don't want the bristles inside or the glue inside to get any wet. Otherwise, it will pop out. And rinse it out like that. So if you don't want to buy makeup uh, cleanser by Clinique or MAC or so, then you can. That is another way of doing it. Purchase a new one. Um, find a makeup brush cleanser from Clinique. It's a, it's a little pink substance that you just spray onto your brush. And then you wipe it into roller towel and it's clean. <laughs> so I was like, what? So I really like that idea. So, and this I've had for a year and a half now. You would think like, girl, you better wash your brushes much more. But you don't have to use a lot, especially the quality of your brush. If you have a good quality of your brush, your brush will clean much easier. If the quality is not that great, then you'll see you'll have to a little more. So, most favorite perfume at the moment. I feel like I can wear this at night. I feel like I can wear this during the day. I feel like I can wear this anytime I want. And this is Elizabeth Arden Pretty. Oh, <sighs> so good. I really love this perfume. I've always loved this perfume. Want to see over there? It's so delicious. This is what the little bottle looks like. I think it's so pretty because, and the name's just as well. It's called Pretty. And I just, oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But, um, yes, I think this smells delicious. I wish I could, like, scratch into the mirror, into the lens and just let you smell this. But Pretty from Elizabeth Arden is my go-to. I just love it, so if you want to smell pretty, then you can always go for this clean, fresh, florally smell. So, yes, that is pretty much what I wanted to talk about. 
if there are any questions, any looks that you would like me to do, or anything that you feel you want to talk to me about, you can always leave a comment below, or you can always go to my makeup page, Stellar Makeup South Africa. Remember to say Stellar Makeup South Africa because I think there is already a Stellar Makeup, but I am Stellar Makeup South Africa. I want to let you know that on my page you'll mainly see my face. I have seen a comment where someone wanted me to show other models um, where I use different eyeshadows or different looks on a, a different skin tone or something like that. But it is my page where you'll mainly see my face. But if I if I've done a model or I've done a wedding, I will uh, of course post that on my page as well. Uh, but thank you so much for the support, everybody. Oh, thank you, everyone. I love you guys. Thank you for keeping me this positive about makeup. Because makeup's fun, right? So, yes, that's, that's all I want to say. And I hope to see you soon. Love you guys. Bye.